9. Now you will have to make the uh, state table, transition table for this. So let's make a transition table or the passing table, not the transition table, but the passing table. And uh, for this passing table, we have uh, the states. You can see that the number of a state here are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we are making the states 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The two parts in this parsing table, one part is action, the other part is go to. In action, we will have all the terminal symbols. So in this case, the terminal symbols are A, B, and dollar. In the go to part, we have capital S and capital A. Now let's make entries to this table according to this uh, canonical collection of the items. So if you see that uh, from zero state with capital S, we are going to one. So zero with capital S, we are going to one. Zero with capital A, we are going to two. So zero with capital A, we are going to two. And then zero to uh, small a, you are going to three state. Zero to small a, you are going to three state. So S3, zero to B, four state so you'll be writing as four here now see the transition from one from one if i shift uh, a dollar uh, it actually is uh, like uh, we have reduced the string to the start symbol and a dollar appears after that it means with one and dollar we are going to accept with two and capital a you can now see that uh, with two and on capital a with 2 on capital A, you're going to state number 5. 2 on capital A, you're going to state number 5. On 2 with the small a, you're going to 6 state. 2 with the small a, as 6. 2 with the small b, 7. It means as 7. 3 with capital A, you're going to 8. 3 with capital A, you're going to 8. 3 with the small a, you're going to remain in the same state. So 3 with the small a, as 3. 3 with a small b, 4 state as 4, no transition from 4, transition, no transition from 5, and then from 6, from 6 <clears throat> on capital A you're going to 9, from 6 on capital A you're going to 9, from 6 on a small a you're remaining in the same state as 6, from 6 to a small a as 6. From 6 to small b, you are going to remain in 7 state. You are going to in the 7 state, so S7. And then from 8, there is no transition. From 9, there is no transition. Okay. Now, uh, the part of the reductions now, you will have to find out uh, what are the final items. What are the, it what are the states that those are producing the final items? So 4 state, state number 5 state number 7, state number 8, and state number 9. <clears throat> so starting from the state number 4, <clears throat> this is A produces B dot. And uh, if we number this, these productions 1, 2, and 3, so in the fourth line or the fourth row in the par uh, parsing table, you will be writing R3. But you will be writing the R3 only at the places A and B. Okay. So whatever are the look aheads, you will be writing the reductions in those places only. So A produces B dot, small a, small b. This is the third production. So we'll be writing R3 in the fourth row. So R3 in the fourth row at the places A and B. So at the places A and B, we'll be writing R3 and R3. Now go to the fifth state, which is the production number one. So we'll be writing R1 in the fifth row of the table, but only at the place dollar. So only at the place dollar in the fifth row, you'll be writing R1. The state number seven, state number seven is saying A produces B dot. So you will be writing R3 in state number seven at the place dollar only. So state number seven at the place of dollar, you're going to write R3. 
now the eighth state which is saying a produces small a capital a so this is r2 means the production number 2 this is production number 2 so you will be using r2 and the row number 8 at the position a and b r2 and r2 in the 9 this is the production number 2 so you will be writing a dollar sorry at the place of the dollar in the state uh, in the state number 9 or the in the table uh, row, table row number 9 you will be writing r2 so in table number 9 in the table row number 9 at the place of the dollar you will be writing r2 fine so now this completes the table this actually completes the table which is the clr1 parsing table okay so this is the clr1 parsing table okay now uh, this clr1 parsing table if you see the clr1 parsing table and uh, if you see these states some of the states have some commonality for example state number four and seven <clears throat> they are same but the look aheads are different so state number four and state number seven are same but the look aheads are different similarly <clears throat> state number three and state number six are same but the look aheads are different so i3 and i6 are same but the look aheads are different Similarly, uh, state number 8 and 9, state number 8 and 9 are same, but the look aheads are different. Okay. So, uh, these states can be combined. Okay. So, these states can be combined and if you merge these states I4 and I7, you can make it I4, 7 and if you merge I3 and I6, you can say that this state is I3, 6. And if you merge the state 8 and 9, you can say that those states are i8, 9. So let us make the uh, these changes at the table also. So we are making a fresh table by looking at uh, this table, which will this this actually is the CLR1 parsing table. And now what we are going to make it, it's a look ahead LR1 table, LLR1 table. So what we have done in the LLR1 table, we have to merge the states. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8 and 9 action and go to part ok. So what we are actually doing <clears throat> that we have to merge the state 3 and 6, 3 and 6 ok. So you will not be writing the state number 6 will be only writing this state number 3 ok so uh, for writing this uh, in the action part we had a b and dollar and in the go to part we had capital S and capital A so now zero state has no change it remains the same One state has no change, it will remain the same. Okay, now <clears throat> the two state also has no change. You see that four, seven, three, six, eight, nine, these are the affected states. So we are uh, first writing it for 3, uh, sorry, from 2 the transitions are S6, S7 and 5, from 3 and 6. So we are actually combining these two states. So we are calling this as state 3, 6. Okay. So you see here we have S3 and here we have S6. So we can write here as S3, 6. Okay, here we have 4 and here we have 7. So we are combining the state number 4 and 7 also. So we will be writing here as 4, 7. Okay, so 7 state we will not write. In the place of 7 we are writing 4, 7 state. Similarly, we are not writing the state number 9. We will be writing 8, 9 only. 
Okay, so we'll first make this table and we'll be converting that to that state. <clears throat> so we'll see that in the fourth state and the seventh state, R3, R3, and R3. Here we have R3, here we have R3, here we have R3. So no conflict has arisen. We're writing R3 only. Okay, now in the fifth state, fifth state has not been combined, so it will remain the same as what it was. Here we have R1. These two states have vanished. And now the 8, 9 state you see, R2, R2, and R2. R2, R2, in 8 state, in the ninth state we have R2. So R2, R2, R2. No conflict has arisen. Okay, now <clears throat> wherever there are the shift operations, we do not have a state 3 here, we have a state 3, 6. So we'll be writing 3, 6 here. We do not have a state 4 here. We have a 4, 7 state. So we'll be writing 4, 7 here. Okay. Now we do not have a state 6 here. We have a 3, 6. So we'll be writing 3, 6 here. We do not have a state 7. We have a 4, 7 state. So we'll be writing 4, 7 here. So uh, what we have done that we have combined the state and uh, the number has also been given combinedly. The, the change in the number for are there for the shift operations, but not for the reduction operation. Why it is not for the reduction operation? Because the reduction operation is telling you the production number to use for the reductions. Okay. Now there is one more change here. You, here you can see that in the three state on A you are going to eight, on five state in the six state on capital you are going to eight. So in the 3, 6 state on capital A, you will be going to 8, 9 state. So this is the LALR1 parsing table. This was the CLR1 parsing table and this is the look ahead to LR1 parsing table. <clears throat> it can clearly be uh, observed that the number of state in the CLR1 parsing table is more than the LALR1 parsing table. So the number of state in the uh, CLR1 parsing table is more than the look ahead LR1 parsing table. But this may be the case only with this example. For the uh, other examples, it may not be the same. It may also be like uh, CLR1 parsing table has the same number of state as the look ahead LR1 parsing table. Obviously, in this in this example, we are reducing the number of state in the look ahead LR1 parsing table. But it may so happen in some of the examples that uh, the uh, states cannot be combined. So the number of states in the in, in the CLR1 parsing table may be same as the look ahead LR1 parsing table. Okay. Now, uh, if given that uh, N1 is representing the number of state in the LR0 parsing table and N2 is the number of state in the SLR1 parsing table, what is the relation between these two? Obviously, N1 will be equals to N2. Okay. Now, if N3 is the number of state in the CLR1 parsing table for the same grammar, and N4 is the number of state in the look ahead LR1 parsing table. So, what is the relation between these two? So, this is like N3 may be greater than or equal to N4. Okay. And the best thing is that, that you can ob ob actually observe that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven states here. The same number of the state used to happen for the same grammar in the LR0 and SLR1 parsing table. Okay, so the relation, if, if we establish the bit, uh, relation between N1, N2, N3, and N4, it will be that the CLR1 parsing table will have the maximum number of states, which may be either greater than or equal to LR0 or LR for SLR1 or CLR1. Okay, so these are the these N1, N2, and N4 means the number of state in LR0, number of state in uh, SLR1, and number of state in look ahead LR1 parsing table are same, but the number of state in the CLR1 parsing table may be more than all these parsing tables. Okay. Thank you.